morning, and I'll just go through just the bench of Chaydish and everyone. So, what's the inspiration when we're coming from the month of Nisan? So, 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 so powerful. Nisan has the word Nais. Nais means miracles. So, we're coming from a month of spectacular energy, of miracles, <clears throat> Pesach, leaping, going beyond all boundaries <clears throat> and limitations. And then we're back to the month of Iyar. And the month of Iyar is more of an ordinary month. So how do we transition? And what's the excitement? What's the power? But the truth is that going from Nisan to Iyar Iyar is a tremendous, tremendous advance. It's a tremendous growth. It's not going lower. It's going much deeper and much higher. We all experience inspiration. We all have a place that we can run away. I say run away, but we can run deeper into a deeper side of our existence that transcends all of our problems and all of our brokenness. And that's the experience of Pesach. We access the deepest, deepest core of our being when we eat the matzah. Matzah strengthens our faith. We access the part of ourselves that's, that is heavenly and godly and therefore unlimited. We're charged by that. We're infused by that energy. <laughs> We all know that it's great to be able to experience those transcendental moments, but then somehow we end up back into the ordinary self, the regular self, the weekday self, where we can possibly say the place in ourselves that need healing, the part that's a little bit broken. The power of the month of Eeyore is to direct the transcendental, miraculous power of Nisan, the miracles of Nisan to direct it into the ordinariness of the month of Iyar. In other words, the world itself needs healing. It's one thing that Jewish, godly experience above the world. But now we need to take that very nace of Nisan and bring it down into Iyar. The month of Iyar stands for the word Ani Hashem Reifecha, I, God, am your healer. So it's about bringing healing to that which is broken on a personal level and in the entire world. We've seen the power to rise beyond darkness in the tragic um, event that happened last week in Poway. We saw darkness. We saw something being broken in this world. But then we saw the power of the miracle. We saw the unbelievable strength of that community. We saw the unbelievable strength of the Mesira Snefesh, of those who got hurt. Lori, the rabbi, Rabbi Goldstein, and so on. But we saw also the response, which was so unbelievable, displayed for the entire world, that power of the Jewish neshama that can never be broken. Now we need to take that energy and heal the entire world with it. Heal ourselves and heal the whole world. So when we say Hallel today, Hallel stands for the Rosh Hatevis, the, the acronym of the word Hallel is Haroife Lishvure Lev, the one that heals a broken heart. So with this Hallel, we can direct that powerful Nisan energy. Today is still Nisan. It's Rosh Chodesh Iyar, but it's still Nisan, it's the last day of the month of Nisan. So we still have full grip and full power for that transcendental Passover, Pesach miracle, and we can direct that to healing. Healing each other, healing ourselves, and healing the entire world. And we take that power and that light now, generate it, everyone in a very deep way, as we sing together, as we connect to each other, and complete the final, final, moments because we're standing literally seconds before the redemption it can come any second we know we're living in an incredible time 
So let's just bring in also, of course, we need to have special blessings of protection for the, our brothers in the land of Israel and Eretz Yisrael that are under rocket attack. We pray that all darkness will be eliminated from the world forever and ever, and the entire world will do tshuva, and all of humanity will be elevated to receive the great infinite light of the revelations of Mashiach Tzedkenu. May it be now. Amen. Amen. As always, we encourage everybody to come around the bima, come diving together closely.
completes Hallel. Uh, this is a regular weekday service, except that it's the first day of the Hebrew month of Eeyore. So now we'll have a Torah service and we'll read the special Torah reading for any Rosh Hashanah, for any first day of the Hebrew month. It was wonderful to share musical Hallel with you. May you be blessed wherever you are to bring peace to your family, peace to your community, peace to the world. Pray especially today for the peace of Israel. Bombs are raining in from Gaza. Israel is fighting back. The conflict de-escalated before anyone else is killed.